Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, let me introduce myself quickly. My name is Pooja Shekhar. I'm a fashion designer and an illustrator. I make fashion and fashion education content on YouTube. If you are interested in such content, please subscribe to my channel. This video is about how to draw croquis in Autodesk Sketchbook. So I'm doing a series where I'll be teaching you all how to do digital illustration using your Android phone for free. So this is the second part of the video series. So if you haven't checked the first part, please do go and watch that part because I have explained the basics of Autodesk Sketchbook in that video. So if you have already checked that out, let's start today's video. To start with fashion illustration, we need a croquis to draw. So what I'm doing right now is opening Pinterest and searching for croquis for fashion illustration. So there we can find a lot of template for our croquis. If you're good at uh, hand illustration, you can just draw the croquis on the paper. You must have learned in your college where 8 hits theory, 10 hits theory can be applied and draw a croquis. And then you can just capture that croquis and take that photo into the Autodesk sketchbook and use it to trace the croquis. So for now, I'm just downloading this croquis. Now we are good to go. Let's go back to the Autodesk sketchbook. So this is how the canvas looks when we open the app we need to rotate the canvas to 90 degrees so that we can start drawing the croquis so firstly what do we need to do is add the photo that we have downloaded now okay i brought this picture here and i'm just adjusting the size here okay this looks perfect done so now we are ready to uh, trace this croquis out. So let me just explain about the layers here. So you can see there are two layers here. One is plain and another one is the one where the picture we have uh, added. So let me just show you how does this layer thing work. See, I have drawn this line on this layer. So when I try to erase, the whole picture is being erased. So this is what happens uh, when we work with layers. So I have changed the layer to layer 2 and now I am trying to draw something. And then if I try to erase, only the drawn lines are being erased, not the picture. So this is how the layer works and uh, with these layers we can create different uh, things in different layers and then uh, we can change or modify whatever we want. Now what I am doing is, I am adjusting the opacity, I am decreasing the opacity level of the image so that I can trace the croquis on the other layer. So please be cautious while working with the layers. You do not draw, please do not draw on the same layer where the picture is. So on the second layer, I am selecting my pen tool. I am adjusting the size of the pen. So I am just checking. Okay, so let's start tracing the croquis. I am starting with the neck. You just see like how I am tracing you just need to trace out the croquis, just add the outlines to the existing croquis. The best part about Autodesk Sketchbook is that you can rotate the canvas however you want. Like you can zoom in, zoom out how much ever you want according to your convenience. So I'm just rotating the canvas and tracing the outlines of the croquis. Okay, with this I have completed the outline of the croquis. So yeah, so if you want to see like what is happening in the second layer only, you need to hide the first layer. Like we just hide it. So yeah, this is how the layer 2 with the croquis outline looks. I'm not happy with the size of the head. So I'm, I'm trying to erase it. So this is the eraser tool. So let me just erase the head and make it a bit bigger. Yes, now the head and the body proportion looks fine. So guys, we have completed the outlining of the croquis. Next step is filling color to the croquis. So filling color is very easy. There is a uh, special tool for to add color. So I'm just uh, finding a perfect color for the skin tone of the croquis. I'm just trying to adjust to get the perfect color. Yeah, this looks fine. Let me select the fill tool and yeah. And yeah, one more thing I wanted to uh, add here. So the outline needs to be completely joined together. Even if this much of uh, gap between the lines can, uh, you know, create this 
when we add, try to add the color so we need to be very sure while uh, uh, making an outline when we have to fill the color all the lines should be joined and i try to add the color outside the croquis so this is how the adding color looks adding color to the croquis is done but there is no depth and there is no character to this croquis so what do we need to do now is add highlights and shadows to this croquis I'm trying to find the darker shade of the skin tone so that I can add the shadows. We need another brush to add the shadows and the name of the brush is Flow Airbrush. So I need to adjust the flow and the opacity of the color. So this is how we add the shadows at the edges of the body. So at face I would prefer adding at one side. and then continue the same process to all over the body adding shadow and highlight to the body adds a lot of character into your sketch okay so this was the first layer of the shadows now i'm changing the size of the brush to you know add a bit more character to this sketch so i'm trying to make the shape of bust and now let's add the detailing of collar bones and a few more detailing at knees and other parts okay with this adding shadows to the croquis is done next step is adding hair to the croquis so i am reducing the opacity level of the layer where i have created the croquis and unhid the template reference template and i'm going to another layer and i'm going back to my favorite pen tool and i'm just tracing out okay so with this the outlining of the hair part is ready now all we need to do is select color adding tool and then just add black color to this part now let's add shadows and highlights to the hair part. let's change the settings of the pen tool and i have selected a shade of brown to add the highlights to the hair so let me show how do i add highlights to the hair let me select another color also a shade of grayish brown and i've changed the size of the tool and i'm adding a few strokes here and there to make the hair look a bit real so guys with this we have completed drawing croquis in autodesk sketchbook using your android phone so hope it was informative and hope you understood whatever i have tried to explain in this video so we are ready to do any sort of fashion illustration on this croquis now in my next video of this series i'm going to explain how to do fashion illustration using this same croquis so hope you guys enjoyed watching this video please subscribe to my channel bye bye